Anyway, uh, so who's got crazy. a fast, whose parents have a really fast ride in here? Car. Yeah. I got fast. I got a smart car. Do you? Is it fast? Every car about the same speed. Okay. Now, who can go 100 miles an hour or more in their car? Okay. Now, how many how many years or minutes or seconds do you think it would take to drive to the sun in that 100 mile an hour car? Anybody know? Two seconds. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Let's see. It takes light eight minutes, and you think you can drive there in 14 minutes? So you can go as fast as a light beam. I'd like to see that car. Seven trillion years. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got the 1,500 years. So if you've got your crazy parents out on 400 North and they're doing 100 miles an hour, you can lean over and say, hey, Mom, Dad, you know, if you keep going this way for 1,500 years, we'll be at the sun. So once, uh, of course, you get some pretty good gas mileage, though, because there's not a lot of gas stations between here and there. How do you fly Why, why do you, you want to go there and you don't die? How do you drive up to the sun? He takes the rocket. You could. You take the rocket. That's a good question. How do you drive to the sun? That's easily possible. All you got to do is exceed the force of gravity that's holding you onto the earth. Just go straight. Right? If you, if you go faster than 12,000 miles per hour, which is the speed you need to get out of the orbit. Right. If you go faster than 12,000 miles per hour, you will leave the earth. Okay? So, nobody's going to do that, obviously. Anyway, what we're going to look at today... All right, pay attention. What we're gonna, has everybody looked through their glasses already? Yeah. Yeah. What color is that? Sun up there. Like orange. orange and yellow? Right now. Yeah, yellowish, orange, yeah. maybe a little off whitish kind of. Look purple to you? I don't what kind of glasses it's you got on? Purple. <laughs> it's a golden purple. yellow. Mix. It's like a macaroni and cheese color. <laughs> cheese color. That's a, a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> that is a great, great, great description. Yes. That's exactly what color it is. Okay, everybody, listen up. Everybody, pay attention. Macaroni and cheese. What's your name? Hey, man. Now, macaroni and cheese color was what this young lady said, and that's about right, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that is the natural color of the sun. If you were in the space shuttle or you were an astronaut and you were looking out the window and had some glasses, that's what color the sun really is. The reason it's that color is because it burns a certain temperature. Okay? These telescopes, the ones on the right here, they look at the sun in that natural color, and they see sunspots if there are any. And there's no sunspots today. So when you go up and look in these telescopes, you're going to see a, an image that's about the same as that pair of glasses you got, but it's going to be closer up. Okay? These three telescopes over here, they all look at one wavelength of light. It's called hydrogen alpha. Who had my sun? You're the sun? Hold that up again. Oh. See that reddish, orangish tint? That's one wavelength of light. Anybody ever seen a rainbow go through a prism, how it splits light into a rainbow? We're looking at just a tiny little portion of that red area in that rainbow. And the wavelength of light we're going to look at is called H alpha. Okay, can everybody say that with me? H alpha. H alpha. H alpha. H -alpha. That's the H -alpha. wavelength, and it's, you with me? You got that? H alpha. H alpha. Okay. That's the wavelength of light that's produced when you fuse hydrogen atoms into helium. You feel that heat on your on your face still? Yeah. That is the wavelength that's causing that heat. Okay. H alpha. These telescopes see H alpha. You're going to see a reddish image with some maybe some orange peel finish on it, and a couple of tiny flares coming off the bottom. Okay, but it's very important that you listen to this next minute and a half, okay? Because these telescopes are irreplaceable and very, very expensive. So if you want to horse around or something, go over there and do it, and then come back here when you get tired. But when you go up and look at the, the uh, telescopes, the eyepiece is there. What's that? You need to horse around a little bit? Nah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, he's listening. He's being quiet and listening. Okay. The eyepiece is right here. Okay, and you can see there's there's two of them there, and there's three eyepieces over there. And when you go up to them, if you grab onto them and, and pull them to your eye or something, you're going to knock the aim off, and nobody's going to be able to see the sun. So what you do is you close one eye, okay, and then you put the other eye just up to the eyepiece and close, but you don't grab anything. Okay, you just put your eye up to it like that, as close as you can get it. And you're going to see a red ball, and somebody's going to say, I don't see anything, I don't see anything. Look at it for a few seconds. We've got plenty of time, and you might see some spikes or flares coming off the edge, and you might see some activity on the surface. Okay, so try not to crowd everybody because there's plenty of time, but let's go ahead and make a couple lines to come up and start looking. Okay, stop right here with your lines. Now notice, guys, there's three of them right here. One, two, three. Three people can see this one. There's two right here. Need a line right here? But hold on, everybody listen. Mr. Latouche and I did this this morning. A couple hints, especially with the red one. Who's talking? Now, when you get up here, take a minute to look at it, probably 30 seconds. You may want to shade your eye with, you know, try to shade the sun with the extra hand there. 
block out all the sunlight, so but study way. it, stay at it for like, you know, 30 seconds at least. All right, a couple of you guys come on over here. Uh, Ayanna here, start looking at this one. This is the red one. Okay, uh, Rachel, you can look right in here, slide over here so you can see. Close one eye, cover it up. You ready? They're so tiny. Oh, Oh, watch out behind you. Right? You got to stand there. You can't. Just look at it. Hey, where are you? Did she take a rope? Oh, you're in front of the camera. All our people, there's a one over here that Hi. you can see. Oh. Know you can so. That's just the video camera that's taking the video. Right here, guys. Oh, no, What's no, up? No, I'm no. Shay. Oh, there it is. What is that? Okay, when you're done on this side, go, so they go heard to that line so you can look to that one. I'm going to stand in front of the camera. They heard you're coming. They're all the same. Oh, what's that one do? Cover. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Watch for about 30 seconds. You can actually see the surface move. Look at me. Why are they over here? I don't know why they're making this little animal noise. Okay, now go into that line so you can see the other. Let's just see how it's supposed to look like over here. Where? Either one. Don't touch the telescopes, remember. I'm also looking at the sun, too. Remember, just cover your eye, that's it. You don't need to touch the telescope. That's right, excellent. Where's the line? Where's the line? You! Okay, every time I believe it looks like there's a black dog. Yeah, that's your retina. You're high. That's like seeing a box. Don't you have to close your eyes. Don't you have to close your eyes. Don't you have to close your eyes. Yeah, what is it? Who touched me? That was me. Yeah, that was me. Oh, I know. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. You think wrong. What's good, Ricky? How's the rest of you right now? Definitely get a look at this center. I shot him two more
No, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. It's just white. Look at your face. 